Are you ready? Yeah! Right, I hope you guys have a great day today. Please get started right away. My name is Gregory London, uh, Mr. London for the kids, and uh, we're at Eagle Ridge Public School. And this event is called Inspired, and this is the first year it's been dubbed that, but it's derived from the original robotics competition that Durham was hosting at its board office. We have kids from grade four commonly all the way up to grade eight, and the type of robotics is anything from real world inspired challenges to simple programming tasks and obstacles, um, things that are structural uh, problems. So sometimes it focuses more on the building side, sometimes more on the programming side. It entirely depends on it, and I like to have a variety and an even spread so everyone can find something that they can apply themselves to. There are 20 competitions or 20 challenges in total. One of the ones I like a lot is the perfect drop and essentially they have to enter in on this cable and the objective is to drop the package or deliver the package directly on the target. And this is done with touch sensors, sound sensors, any sensor that they can imagine to have the robot execute the drop on you know, the proper target. Hi, I'm Liv and I go to Pringle Creek. I'm 11 and I'm in grade six. Today, my school, our robotics team, has come here to compete in a competition and we have a bunch of challenges. I like how you have to solve problems without actually knowing anything before and how you have to work with your team to try to solve anything in the teamwork. I actually, before this year, I'd never had any previous um, experience in robotics, but I had done a lot of Lego. It's fun to be prepared and have for your future and fun to be with your friends and learning new things that you've never done before. That's the main aspect that I enjoy. And I really like how you get to kind of defy the stereotypes and do things that are typically for boys. The experiential learning that they receive from it later gets made more sense of in school. You know, we always talk about students bringing in experiences that they've had into the classroom and then building on it. These will be the experiences that fuel a lot of that because they might not have the experience otherwise. So innately now, they will see gearing ratio and they will just try. Small big, big small. And they might swap them and just see what happens. But that's adopting information. And at the end, they might just remember, well, if you put the big, wheel, big gear on the motor and the small, small one on the wheel, then it goes faster. Forget torque, forget speed, forget everything else. It's just that basic. And I think a lot of that will resonate with them. And then again, that's the type of experience that they bring into a classroom later.